The royal family are the most famous Britons of the 20th century. So the casting felt like a challenge. Quite early on, we realised we were not going to do a look-alike show. What we've tried to do is, is give you an essence of those characters that you know. You want the audience to invest in the relationships you have and the story, and I think the only way of doing that is just being truthful. The only person I have ever loved is you. And can you honestly look me in the eye and say the same? Nina Gold, the casting director, has just done a fantastic job. When you look at Claire or Jared Harris, Victoria Hamilton, it's not a spitting image casting process. It's a, let's try and capture a sort of energy. Long live Queen Elizabeth. I can't really speak high enough of Claire. She's led the cast brilliantly. They were celebrities of their day in such a huge way. So it needs great performances from great actors with good writing, which it has. We all sort of said to each other, you know, this was a once in a lifetime thing. It's really, really well written. Why was government not consulted? Because there comes a time where one must draw a line in the sand. Any actor is going to be different from Winston Churchill. There's no one like Winston Churchill. I decided to examine more the spirit of the man, the qualities of the man. No one wants you to be you, they want you to be it. A statue, a thing. The crown, that's what they've come to see, not you. Vanessa Kirby, who plays Margaret, is like a bundle of energy. She's so full of life, and I think that's perfect for Margaret. It never felt like we were putting on the people or we were imitating them. It just felt like we had to capture the essence or the spirit or the soul of the person. And so it always felt incredibly soulful. The cast has been bliss, I have to tell you that. There was an enormous bond, I think, between everyone straight away. The sense of company is amazing. It feels like you're in a huge theatre company. Everybody is genuinely supportive and it's made it a dream job. I'm proud of having written parts that are getting the sort of performances that these actors are giving. It's this fantastic reservoir of talent. I am aware that I'm surrounded by people who feel that they could do the job better. More natural leaders, perhaps better suited to leading from the front, making a mark. But for better or worse, the crown has landed on my head. So did you like that video? Do you think you know everything there is to know about movies? Well, today I have for you some interesting movie facts. 1941, during the army now, features the longest Hollywood kiss on camera, clocking in at three minutes and three seconds. Chocolate syrup was used as the blood in the movie Psycho. Hmm. Hitchcock himself thought the texture really helped to make it more realistic. Now, the longest film made is The Burning of the Red Lotus Temple. The film is over 27 hours long. Film executives were a bit nervous about casting Leonardo DiCaprio as the kid in The Quick and the Dead. As a result, and to show her confidence in the actor, co-star Sharon Stone paid his salary out of her own pocket. In The Lion King, one of the bugs that Timon pulls out of a log is wearing Mickey ears. Now, this is not the only case of Disney films pulling out other characters. The genie in Aladdin pulls Sebastian from The Little Mermaid out of his bag of tricks when looking through his spell book. In the Pirates of the Caribbean series, Johnny Depp wears contact lenses that function as sunglasses so that the character would not be constantly squinting. Hmm, not a bad idea. So, did you know these facts? Which ones? Do you know any interesting movie facts? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Lisa and I'll see you next time.